We've heard from the Fed. We've heard from the ECB, BOJ, all of the more important banks here. I don't think anyone can argue right now that bonds are cheap. But do you see any sort of reason or any sort of catalyst out there now where we would see a reversal in the trend that we've been seeing in the bond market? Well, Romain, we, we did get see a reversal in interest rates over the last couple of weeks. And I think last week, everything was going according to the Fed's plan. The data was better, yields have backed up, trade tensions have eased. But then this week, we come in on Monday and we get an oil spike and the funding issue, which is sort of a two-headed monster for the Fed. And I think they had to change course. Um, look, I think that the, the, the main factors are is that globally yields are moving lower. And I think it's a function of structural issues in the global economies, not necessarily data issues that are inherent to, let's say, day over day news. So from our perspective, I think what we, th what we need to focus on is that it, it pays to be owning duration in these environments, it, not necessarily moving towards credit or riskier assets because rates will likely move lower. Central banks, as you said, are easing policy. The likelihood of quantitative easing globally is increasing. So it makes sense to be owning debt. So, but owning that duration, Nick, I mean, as you get further out onto that duration uh, curve, as we get deeper into this rally and this general economic cycle, are there not risks there, or I know there are risks there, but are those risks uh, sort of, are they, have they been magnified enough to scare some people away? Absolutely. So the risks are significantly magnified as you move out the curve because the longer duration or the longer maturity bonds that you have, the more sensitive you are to interest rate moves. So in the case of owning a 30-year bond, if interest rates move higher over, the, let's say, the next 5, 10 basis points higher, then you're, you have a, more of a negative return than if you own shorter dated debt. From our, the, the areas that we are focusing on is really the front end of the yield curve, particularly in those countries that have, had, have, have already eased and are going to continue to ease. So that means countries like the U.S. Australia, New Zealand, Canada. These are countries that have positive yield curves and are going to be moving rates lower. And by owning the front end, yes, you're not going to get as much bang for your buck if yields continue to rally, but you'll still get that defensive nature and still be able to get good income by owning that front end.